Jackson Middle School's 2012 promotional exercises. My name is Anthony Palmisano. I am the principal of Jackson Middle School. And joining me on <laughs> And joining me on stage this evening are Superintendent Dr. Janice Rosales. And District 25 Board of Education members, Mr. Jerry Bimber. <laughs> Mrs. Bill Sasson. Mrs. Linda Nystrom. Mr. Matthew Drew. Mr. Roy Garcia. Mr. Davis Kane. And Mrs. Peggy Egan. Also joining us this evening are Jackson students Megan Foley and Katib Raza. As always, I would like to thank Willowbrook High School and its principal, Mr. Dan Krause, for allowing us to use their auditorium this evening. I would also like to thank the Jackson Middle School PTA for being so supportive all year, and especially for the success of last night's eighth grade dance. To Mrs. <laughs> to Mrs. Williams, Mrs. Tanya, Mrs. Marcheski, and their decorating committee, last night's celebration looked absolutely fantastic. Their many hours of hard work and creativity made the 8th grade dance a night the students will always remember. Thank you very much. <laughs> to the class of 2012, congratulations on your accomplishments. Tonight is a very special evening. It is the final phase of your transition from your years as an elementary student to a middle school student, and after this evening, a high school student. To each of the graduates, I hope that you realize just how special you are as individuals and as a group. As your principal, I have enjoyed watching each of you develop into the young adults you are today. This evening, there are over 1,100 people here to honor your accomplishments and to show their love and support for you. You are each truly blessed. you represented Jackson Middle School in everything you accomplished. In addition to your academic successes throughout the year, you continued the pride of our athletic teams and our long history of championships. The 8th grade boys volleyball team won back-to-back -back conference championships for the last two years. And the 8th grade boys track team ended their season as champions as well. Graders, the boys basketball team and the girls volleyball team clinched the blue division championship in 2011. In addition, the boys basketball team became the tournament consolation champions in 2012 and the girls basketball team became the tournament consolation champions in 2010. Altogether, the class of 2012 crossed the finish line of their middle school years with great pride. You continue your success in the fine arts as well. Our band, orchestra, and chorus not only qualified for the state competition, but all three groups received superior ratings from the state judges. And, as you know, for the first time in Jackson history, our band qualified and participated in the super state competition on May 4th at the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. <laughs> Many of you also participated and excelled in other activities such as the school musical, cheerleading, the builders club, destination imagination, the principals team, and much, much more. Most impressively, the class of 2012 led the school in an effort to fundraise over $5,000 for the Susan Komen Foundation to cure breast cancer.
Your heart and character was revealed in your enthusiasm to help others in need. It has certainly been an honor for me to be your principal, as many of you were outstanding representatives of the school. Finally, remember the lessons of perseverance and character we learned from the various incredible guest speakers who taught you and visited our school over the last two years. Remember the words of Abner Gannett, one of the last of a great generation, a generation who fought in World War II and saved our country, the generation of your grandparents and great-grandparents, a generation who modeled sacrifice and a love beyond themselves. Remember Abner's testimony that he was there, that he witnessed firsthand the death camps in Germany where millions of men, women, and children were murdered. He stood before you so you would know the truth. As you know, Abner Gannett passed away this year on March 31st. So you, the class of 2012, were the last to hear his story in person. As you are our hope and our future, remember Abner's request that each of you have the courage to do what is right and to stand against hatred and discrimination, even in the midst of the most troubling circumstances. And remember the words of our wonderful and gracious friend, Marion Blumenthal Lazan, who continues to visit year after year. Although she experienced at the age of nine the horrors of living in a concentration camp during World War II, experiencing death in the ugliest, most hateful manner, although the world at one time treated her as she had no value and no worth, taking the life of her father and stealing the hope of her brother, she continues to spread her message to love one another and to forgive. She implores us to do the same. And lastly, remember the truth. Whatever happens, whether or not, whether or not your dreams come true, whether or not you succeed in your endeavors, or whatever disappointments come your way, your value is not in what you do or how smart you are, how good looking, how popular, or how many pins you are wearing on your sash of honor. As evidenced by the love of those around you tonight, you were simply created valuable. So, have faith, dream big, and never, never give up. Congratulations. Congratulations to you, the class of 2012. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Rosales, our superintendent, who will present the 2012 Citizenship Awards. Good evening. I, too, would like to congratulate the class of 2012. What an honor it is for me to be able to present the awards for citizens uh, the Citizenship Award for this year. Each year, four students, two boys and two girls from the eighth grade class, are chosen as our citizens of Jackson Middle School. The Citizenship Award is voted on by all of the staff of Jackson Middle School. Therefore, this award is very special because it is not chosen by one staff me member or a select few. Instead, it's chosen by all of the staff these students stand out year after year and stand out to everyone at Jackson. So the students do not know who's been selected. So it's a surprise and very exciting. That's why I love giving this award. Our first citizenship award goes to a young lady that has endless energy. She is always willing to help in any way she can. She always has a smile, is caring, and has a great sense of humor and a great attitude. She is a positive leader at Jackson, going that extra mile and giving 110% in everything she attempts. This year, she participated in cross country and track and field. She was also a member of the Jackson Cheerleaders. She is a great leader and served this year as president of the Builders Club. Congratulations to Emily Isaacson. <laughs>
It is also always has a smile on his face. He is thoughtful and considerate of others and is a true team player. He has all around team spirit and was one of our best dressed for each Spirit Day activity this year. This student was a leader in band and a member of the Super State Band. He is also a great athlete. He participated on cross country team, the basketball team, the volleyball team, and the track and field team. He played an important role in bringing the basketball and track and field conference championships to Jackson. He was voted the most valuable performer in cross country by his team. While at Jackson, he also participated in Builders Club and was an SSC helper. Congratulations to Kevin Miller. the impossible and brought the entire student body together in a charity event. She planned and organized a volley for the Cure Rate fundraiser. This event was a volleyball game between Jackson and Jefferson that raised $5,000 for the Susan G. Coleman Foundation. Congratulations to Kylie Kelly. <laughs> Fifteen minutes of searching for it. championship in volleyball. He was, mo he was voted the most valuable player for basketball, another conference championship team. He was the 400 meter conference champion and helped his team to become the first track and field conference championship team in 20 years. Although he was an important part to winning team championships, he always remains humble. Congratulations to Tino Giratani. <laughs> Congratulations. 